Never expose yourself unnecessarily to danger, a miracle may not save you, and if it does, it will be deducted from your share of luck or merit. This video is for overhauling of staff a hydraulic radial piston type motor. In next video its operational principles shall be demonstrated. Remove pressure and return pipes connecting to the motor. Mark and remove control block. Second speed control block secured with L bolts which are only exposed when first block removed. Keep it in clean place. Slacken motor securing L bolts with casing. Use tripod with suitable chain block and also arrange pulling arrangements as required. Pull push out the motor from gear assembly. Slacken L bolts of motor cover at gear side. Jack out the gear side cover with two bolts. Careful shaft seal will come out of the cover. Hydraulic motor shaft with pistons will be exposed now. Inspect the shaft seal the sealing surface. Hydraulic pistons are secured to the drum by top and bottom conrod retaining rings top one has to be pulled out and bottom one to be pushed down screw down suitable lifting eye on the shaft push pistons outwards carefully pull the shaft out Check drum and piston shoes for scoring or metal particles. This shaft is connected with the distributor by a plus shaped Oldham coupling. The Oldham coupling, distributor, and the shaft end on the Oldham coupling side has marking TDC or L or similar. This marking must be checked and noted and at the time of assembly must be matched. In case it's not matched properly the motor direction will change. Mark cylinder head, piston, and remove all pistons one by one. Check piston shoe for scoring, same as drum, clean piston, and change sealing rings. Open cylinder head bolts and remove cylinder head. Change the seal, o-ring. Careful examine liner for scoring damage. Mark and open the valve end cap, distributor end cover, slightly hammer out the end cover. Carefully pull out the distributor, take care of the direction TDC and connection with main shaft so that the distributor can be fixed in the same was as removed. Turning will cause change of rotational direction. Carefully examine distributor and its liner, housing, for scoring or damage of rings. Replace piston rings on distributor. Mark all sides, unscrew C spacer, for speed changing piece, L bolts, screw down lifting eyes and lift. Examine faces change o-rings. Air blow speed control line openings and assemble the block in reverse of disassembly. Air blow speed control line openings. Dash marking on Oldham coupling, change distributor piston air rings, place distributor inside and box back.
Check cylinder liner surfaces change cylinder seal ring secure cylinder heads. Change piston sealing rings check piston shoe, lubricate and place pistons inside the cylinders matching marking. In this case shaft seal found leaking hence shaft was polished at sealing surface, drum was secured with wooden pieces. Place shaft carefully matching markings with Oldham coupling, secure pistons with shaft with bottom and top conrod retaining rings. And fix the end cover. Motor testing. Connect one drain line to tank and plug other drain lines. Connect hydraulic pipes with couplings on port A and port B. Start hydraulic pump. Increase pressure around 30 bar. Motor shall start rotating without leakage from seal. Change hydraulic flow pressure side and confirm if motor is rotating in opposite direction. Clean all surfaces of both control blocks change sealing rings and assemble them along with pilings. Keep one drain line connected to the tank and hydraulic supply and return lines to pumping system. Operate pump up to motor normal pressure 200 to 250 bars and operate control block levers to check motor running. Check leakage amount from drain and compare with maker's manual. In this case it was 12 liters per mm. Please watch next video for operating principles changing of rotational direction of hydraulic motors. Your valued comments shall be highly appreciated. Thank you.